Hi YouTube, this is the Group and Chick and today I'm going to show you how to make a really inexpensive but very effective vegetable wash. I went to the grocery store for Mother today and uh, while I was doing her shopping I ran down by the produce aisle and got uh, some uh, cherry tomatoes that were marked down from $1.99 to $0.75 cents. so I bought several containers. I brought them home, washed them, sliced them. I have got them lightly salted and have them on my trays. But let me show you what came off four little containers of great tomatoes. That's pretty gross, isn't it? Do you know only 2% of all of the imported vegetables are inspected? And E. coli is one of the number one things that come from um, the imported vegetables and the fruits that we get. So I'm going to show you or tell you how to really make a really inexpensive vegetable wash that is just a fraction of the price of vegetable wash on the market. It only takes one cup of distilled white vinegar and three cups of water. You let your vegetables or fruit soak for two minutes and then rinse them well. Researchers from Cook Mag Magazine found that this wash kills 98% of the, back of the bacteria on foods and that leafy vegetables like um, spinach and uh, greens, lettuce, anything like that, are more likely to carry E. coli than other vegetables, but uh, you definitely want to wash everything that you bring into your house. If you add two tablespoons of salt, it uh, enhances vinegar's ability to kill the E. coli. So um, I, I add salt when I'm doing vegetables, but I don't add salt when I am doing my fruit. So that is just something I wanted to share with you. I had not shared with you before, but um, since I was doing so many cherry tomatoes, and um, I thought I would share that with you and let you see how much gunk came off of them in just four little uh, tubs of uh, cherry tomatoes. And last night I had dehydrated um, some one-pound bags of mixed vegetables, and I wanted to show you a one-pound bag of mixed vegetables equals one cup of dehydrated mixed vegetables. So you can see how much easier that is going to be to store than a bag of mixed vegetables. Plus, if you store these properly, these will last five to ten years. You can store these in um, mylar bags, vacuum sealed. I just store mine in mason jars with a oxygen absorber and then I also I seal them with my mill. And I will show you how to do that in another video. It's really simple. But uh, it's a great savings when you get them on sale for 99 cents when they're normally $1.99 to $2.49 a bag. Just wanted to share this great tip with you. Also, I wanted to show you uh, just a few of my cherry tomatoes that I dehydrated last night. These were the last ones that had to be dehydrated. They were the ones that uh, weren't as crispy as the other ones, so I had to let these go just a little bit longer, but they are so flavorful. Once you dry cherry tomatoes, you're really going to love the intense flavor that they have. wanted to share that with you. Like my videos. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing more videos this weekend and next week on camping and um, camp preparations. So, until next time, this is the Groovin' Chicken Out.